Hello, Patrick. Hey, hey uh, tell me your name correctly. Keith Reed. Keith, Keith Keith Reed. 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 Keith Reed. Keith Reed. Yeah. You are not an original member. No. Um, How long did you Mitch, play with the band? Mitch was the first. Yes. Host. I knew knew him when he started. I knew the band, and the band. I was in another rock and roll band that had been going all through the sixties. And they used to come down to our pub where he played in near London. And when Mitch left, somebody said, Oh, you should get Keith out of the Impalas to come and join <laughs> the band. And um, I was there till from 71 till about 1974. And then I went and uh, had a family. My, my wife had babies and we, we yeah. didn't want to travel too much so I stayed at home. I used to go back now and then yes. just to play now and just do the odd thing here and there. I was there when we made a record for Decca Records. Got to number one in Sweden, that was quite exciting. And we went to Sweden and did a big festival at Gothenburg and we got paid the, our best money there because we were okay. number one. And, uh, and the two boys that came to the festival on their motorbikes, on their Triumph okay. Bonnevilles, so they drove on stage. And it was all filmed, but I've never seen the film of it. Nobody's ever found it. At this moment, what is your role in the band? Sing, play guitar. In the 60s, uh, you, you were going to the uh, Nightingale Cafe? No, I've never been there. No, that was, no? Uh, no, I don't know why I'd never found that, but I heard, I'd heard a lot about it. And uh, that's where they started. Yeah. And they uh, they met Bill Haley, did a gig with Bill Haley on the Royal Albert Hall in London. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I saw, saw, I was at that show, I was in the audience. There's Dwayne Eddy on guitar, Bill Haley's Comets, and making a comeback in 1968, I think that was. It was a great show. Your father uh, was listening rock and roll when you was young? No, not really. He probably you Al, were the Al, first... Al Jolson. You were... I was about seven years old when rock and roll was big. So I was. I started very early. Listening to Tommy Steele and Cliff Richard and everybody on the radio. And Jerry Lee Lewis. I, I, I find it totally impossible to pick the greatest rock and roller. I have a radio show in England called Angel Radio and I say, tell me who's the king of rock and roll. Some people say Jerry Lee Lewis, some people say Little Richard, some people say Chuck Berry, some people say Elvis. But you've got to say that also Bill Haley, Eddie Cochran, Gene Vincent, Buddy Holly, Carl Perkins are all in the... In the uh, you've got to vote for them as well. Right. Sorry, am I talking too much? <laughs> Thank you for the interview. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you.